I will let y'all know. But basically, what we want to do is like an all improv night of spoken word and music. And, um, you know, we're like talking to musicians and, you know, talking to certain guest poets and things of that nature. So, what I'm going to do right now is. Hey, Desiree. What I'm going to do right now is attempt an improv. So, what's going to happen is. You all will throw out a topic, or several topics. Yeah. I will improv for a while, and when I tug on my hat, um, we will switch topics. So, this may or may not go well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go with the first topic. Somebody throw something out. Big Lebowski. Woo! <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right, no, no, I got it. Some circles they call me that dude. The one that connects the room like the rug that ties it all together. Some circles, I'm the one that funny hops from plot to plot, making things hot, boiling like a kettle on a pot, and it don't stop. Sometimes I come a little slouchy, like the big Lebowski. Like I sit on the couch all day doing much of nothing but drinking white Russians and busting with no discussion. Spit it like I'm drumming on a percussion like to tack tack, to clack clack, ya ya, to clack clack, like I'm a song. <laughs> Ball. So hard. But, oh. <laughs> Ball so hard that his boss is trying to find me right now. His name escapes me like Prisoners running out past the warden, but I get it scarred and I beg your pardon. My pen throws past the margin. I be going and flowing past the bargain. I'm gonna pull on my hat right now and quit with the food. Yeah, yeah, skin. <laughs> Next time. Skinny, huh? Somebody. Tip off jeans. Skinny jeans. <laughs> skinny jeans don't necessarily appeal to my skinny fat, but I wear them. Because I want to try to be fashionable. <laughs> Skinny jeans hug the legs of real men. <laughs> if you don't have room for your balls to breathe, then your jeans are not natural. <laughs> it makes me wonder what's happened with hip hop. Right now, we got cats rocking mics with blouses and dresses on. And I ain't spitting like no homophobe. I'm just trying to let you know that, hey, bruh, ain't nothing cool about those breast-eating shirts. <laughs> <laughs> you know the kind the slip so far down the middle that the rabbit could pop out a nipple and squeeze. <laughs> That's rude. That's rude. That's rude. All right. I'm a 225 representative. Born on the north side of town, Scotlandville. I spit a trail. I keep it all the way real. I was born in a woman's hospital to a woman named Anna Rose. She taught me lessons at her kitchen table. I regurgitate those lessons through the microphone when I'm blessing. And I've been wrecking the city all of my goddamn natural life. From Scotlandville to Sherwood Forest <laughs> Boulevard, the province. I spit it to try to get a profit. I teach across schools all across the city. Michelle Lee also remember when I was back at Park Forest doing my thing, <laughs> kicking flows and poems like I was Chuck Norris. Now, Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris was from Baton Rouge. <laughs> yeah. He'd be a Jigga City representative. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, video games. The founder of Game How wants me to spit about video games. I will play these whack ass poets like Tetris, building blocks upon blocks. I spit a hybrid of spoken word and hip hop, and it don't stop. I don't rock no flip flops, but I stay up in some supers or the hundreds are Nikes, you got me, they trying to get like me, I just do it like Spike Lee and Michael Jordan commercials back in the early 80s. You can't play me, baby, I'm old school like Atari, get it started, I get the party retarded like I'm going on Bacardi. Now, you talking about being retarded is also kind of Baton Rouge, where them dudes clap the twos and no, this ain't duck hunt, they actually shooting at targets like ducks moving around, be a killing and murdering in our city, it ain't a game. Mm -hmm. 